Steel City Interactive have finally stepped onto the big stage and made themselves known to what hundreds of thousands of people around the world who were all watching this year's E3. So I guess the question that remains now is, did you actually get what you thought you were getting when you found out that ESBC was going to be on E3? Let's find out. So prior to the show, what I did was I actually went out to the community and I asked the community, what do you think we were going to see from Still City Interactive at, at this year's E3? And of course, as expected, the majority of you were like gameplay, uh, a reveal date for when the game is actually going to release, those types of things. Maybe even a few fighters being announced. So there actually was a good deal of things to break down. Now, first I want to say, dude, the ESBC fans showed up in full effect. Man, ESBC fans was mobbed deep. I don't know who this guy is, but the ESBC fans was mobbing deep. So what did they show with just about two minutes of, of space? We got uh, some more in-game shots. Uh, we got a, a couple of like... You know video clips we got to see some of the like the facial damage the scars look crazy they they showed the big list we got to hear our man ty grisham again you know always good to hear him out here you know hyping the game up uh but yeah they gave us some some a couple of new clips for things to see inside of the game a few images man like uh, they they spoke about the physics of the game a lot of that stuff was things that we've already knew they just gave it to us again in a a different dose i guess you can say um they fed it to us in a way that we hadn't seen it before which if you're like me anytime there's some esbc news yo i'm like yo i'm always there i don't care how they give it to you like i'm always there so i think they i think they did what they were supposed to it was it, it was great so i mean I, I i'd imagine there's going to be tons of people out there pausing these videos, looking at it, breaking down the list, looking at the cuts, looking at the clothes, the, the, the backgrounds, looking for the smallest bit of Easter eggs. So I will leave that for you guys to search the YouTubes in order to find because I know it's going to be out there and it's probably going to be days of people just breaking down the film. But I actually thought the spot that they had for the announcement was extremely successful. For the amount of eyes that they're going to have on this game, I think that ESBC and Still City Interactive again delivered. Now, we didn't get a release date, and I know that was something that a lot of people was looking forward to. It was something personally that I was looking forward to. I know when they did, um, for anybody who watched the entire show up until that point, when they did the whole walking on the virtual floor deal, I was searching around looking for like a little ESBC like symbol or something somewhere to where we would be able to go to like Steam and and play the game <laughs> but we didn't get that I, I mean it is what it is fool me all right thanks but we did get a lot of additional like shots you know what i'm saying and it's, it's always good to see new parts of the game so before i go i did want to go back and i wanted to look at a small piece i probably played it a couple times but look at the speed on these punches i had to highlight that because a few months ago, that was one of the things that everybody was complaining about. All the punches look slow. Look at the speed on those punches. All right. Now, I'm going to walk away. I'll leave it at that. Like I tell y'all every time, appreciate y'all for coming back to the Coach's Corner. ESBC is out there now. They're on the big stage. Hey, look, if you don't know, now you know. All right. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.